ladies? Ladies, Dr. Wendy Dearborn is in the house with another, another tutorial for you from Pull Up Your Big Girl Panties. Don't you get them twisted. Well, I have had some feedback for me which is phenomenal. And I hope, ladies, I truly hope you'll be able to join me on the 28th when we do a live webinar and telenar so that you can share your experiences, so you can tell what happened to you as you went through tutorial number one. And just as a recap, tutorial number one was called Seeing is Believing. And really and truly, that was connecting you to the process, connecting you with God, connecting you with the universal creator, the uh, field of potentiality, the whatever term you want to use, whatever term you call your chosen God, but connecting you so that you could, through your spoken word, actually receive a blessing and or a gift. Now, if you haven't done this particular tutorial, I'm going to suggest that you go back and do it because it will help. It, it, it's laid out so that it can uh, support you or create a foundation from which you can build strongly on. You see, the name of the game is where we are going with these tutorials and everything that we're doing here on Pull Up Your Big Girl Panties, we are going to the spot. We are going to a place where you will be able to create. You will be able to create through your words, through your mind, through your thoughts, those things that you say that you really want. It's about manifesting them. And it's about recognizing that you have the power, ladies, to do this. So come on, don't get it twisted, ladies. Let's, let's do this thing. So anyway, I've got my notes here. So you have opened the door and experienced through tutorial number one that seeing is believing. You asked for a gift, you asked for a blessing and or both, and you received it. Now, as you know, in that tutorial, you couldn't actually say what it was. You just had to put it out there that within 48 hours, you would receive a gift and or a blessing. And for those who did, you ladies, you were telling me, I got my blessing. Oh my God, this came through. You ladies, you were telling me. So, woohoo, you done it, ladies. And keep doing it. Don't ever stop doing it. Keep doing it. Because what happens is, is the more you do it, it's the stronger it becomes, it's the easier it becomes. And sometimes it's nice not to ask for anything. It's just to ask for anything specific. It's just nice to get something out of the blue, you know. Hey, I've been thinking of you. So that being it said, you've established also that you can't be wishy-washy, which is really important. You have to be concise and you have to be clear. So you can't be wishy-washy when you actually put your request out there, even if you're not asking for anything specific. But you have to be very clear on what it is you're asking for and the way in which you are asking for it. You know that clarity Clarity, when you're clear, it makes you confident. It does. When you're clear on, on what you want, it makes you confident. It makes you know what you want. It makes you believe what you want. And it fills all of that with intention. And that goes straight to source. That's how your blessings and your gifts came along. One of the things that I had noted, I, put, I, I made a notation and what I said was, is that what you've experienced is part of living faith. You had the conscious awareness experience of faith. And what I'm talking about, faith is the substance of things hoped for. And you see, now what we're going to do in Great Expectations, we are going to work on the latter part of that. The evidence of things not seen. And this is what tutorial, this is what tutorial number two is all about. It's called Great Expectations. Now, this next series of exercises, because it is two exercises that are done over a 48-hour 48, uh, 48 period, in a two-day period. Okay? So this next exercise becomes a little bit more specific in what you're asking for, are just a little bit more specific, okay? Now, what we are going to do in exercise number two, tutorial number two, is that we are going to prove, we are going to prove 
that you can impact that energetic field. You know, the, the field where things are, are, are taken from, unseen things, unseen things seem to come into form from out of nothing comes something. We are going to prove that you can impact that energetic field. We are going to prove that you can impact your relationship with God, the universal creator, universal architect, or whomever your deity is, and impact it in such a way that you can, through your belief and expectation, draw to it what you want to be shown. Okay? So have you got that? So basically, what we are doing is proving that through your belief and expectation, you can draw to you. It can come to you, that which you want to see, that which you believe you will see, and that which you expect to see. So this is why tutorial number two is called Great Expectations. Now, to do this experiment correctly, it is split up into two days, 48 hours, two days. In the first 48 hours, the first 48 hours, excuse me, in the first 24 hours, in the first 24 hours, you are going to look for, you are going to want to be shown, you are going to believe and expect that you will see yellow cars. Yellow cars. You can choose the shade of yellow, but yellow cars. And if you don't want to see yellow cars, pick another color. You can choose that too. You might hate the color yellow. Pick another color. But we're going to say you're going to choose to see yellow cars. Make or model, not important. Yellow cars. The first 24 hours. The next 24 hours, you are going to look for, and you do need to look for this, you need to be a part of this, you are going to look for feathers, green feathers, and or if you don't like the color green, you can choose any color in the rainbow, any color in the rainbow, but you're going to look for those feathers, okay, and that will be the next 24 hours. Or you can do the feathers first, or the cars, or the cars next. Whichever way you go, it's 24 and 24. You're looking for cars, and you're looking for feathers. Green car, excuse me, green feathers and yellow cars. Or you choose your own color. In the same way, ladies, as I said before, there will be, there will be the, the worksheet sheet. You'll be able to, you will be able to download got it your worksheet and utilize that and I do suggest that you make a notation and keep this put it in a binder keep it because you will be able to refer to it it will it is a pathway okay it's a pathway it's a roadmap it's also a journal to tell you that I can I have and I did so that's what you need to do 48 hours 24 you're gonna look for a yellow car cars and as many as you can see and 24 the next 24 you're going to look for green feathers as many as you can see make the notation down of how many and the shade yellow is yellow i don't care if it's baby blue ba baby blue baby yellow really really fun re really really light trans almost translucent yellow to a really deep deep yellow and i'm not talking about orange that's a di di totally different color. Deep, deep yellow. Okay, ladies? So what you need to do for you is expect to see. Expect to see. Do you hear me? Expect to see the car and the feathers or the cars and the feathers. Expect to see the color that you choose. You need to expect it. And that expectation builds belief. You need to build belief. You need to have your expectation. Okay? That you have to do. 
So for the next 48 hours, set all your skepticism aside. And what will really help you with the whole skeptical thing is that if you have done tutorial one and you had your success with that, it can build the momentum. This is why I say it's important to do tutorial one. Now, if you don't see any yellow cards or you don't see any feathers, green feathers, in the 24, 24 period or the 48 hour period of time, then ladies, you need to give yourself a check up from the neck up because there is something then that you are doing that is not correct, which is okay. Because all it means is that you just need to keep practicing and go back. The biggest thing is to, um, to set aside the skeptical beliefs that you may have or the disbeliefs that you may have that this may work and just go with it, just roll with it, expect to see it. Don't have any other thing going on in your head other than the expectation and believing that this is what you will see. So again, if you have difficulty with this, you really need to ask yourself some questions and it's like, did I have something else in mind? Was it another color? Was it truly another color? Did I happen to see all blue cars? Was that where my subconscious was? What, 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 was I working from a subconscious pre, uh, uh, parameter? Or was I present? You know, talk to yourself. Not down to yourself. To yourself. Not at yourself. Just to see where you are. And then start the process again. It's 48 hours. You have absolutely nothing to lose. But time and time's precious. But what you will gain in this is your ability to create that which you want in life. So ladies, when do you want to start doing this? Hey, I'm of the opinion that now is a, as good as time as any. Did I get that out right? Now is as good a time as any. Start now. What you waiting for? What you waiting for, ladies? Now is the appointed time. Make sure that you, do, you use your worksheet, do the notation, write the date, the time, the approach. Make sure that you are clear and concise and that you tell God, you tell the universe, you tell the field of potentiality, you tell the universal creator, the universal architect, you tell, you tell whomever your chosen deity is that within 48 hours you want to see cars and you want to see feathers yellow and green make your notations keep your keep your work and we will get back together again so we can talk about it let's talk about it so ladies enjoy the process enjoy it utilize it you can create whatever it is that you want in your life all you've got to do is use your mind use your words Belief and intention. I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn Lane.